for today's WordPress video, I wanted to share with you four of the most frustrating things that I find about WordPress and how you can fix them. So uh, the first most frustrating thing that you've probably found out if you've done any kind of WordPress um, post or have uh, had a website for a while is that sometimes the visual editor doesn't really behave like it should. So um, here's an example I have right now, this Sheryl Sandberg post I'm working on. As you can see, some of the text is coming out as a bold and is even having a different font as opposed to the rest of my paragraph text. So if you go into your visual editor, it's not exactly obvious. It First thing to check is if it's a paragraph down here, and it is, and it's not bolded, so what's going on? Well, if you go to your text tab up at the top, it will show you the HTML of your page, of, your, of the post content only, and as you can see, there's some extra HTML that kind of slipped into here. Um, and the reason that it can, appear in your post is because if maybe you copied from a uh, from a website or if you um, did a copy and paste from a Word document is one of the most offending that likes to put inline styles like this. So all you need to do is just delete these tags like this, update your post, go back and refresh the page, and now you'll see that your text is fine again. Okay, now my second tip that I have for you is sometimes uh, you need, you're missing some things from the post page that actually aren't even here by default. One of the things is your excerpt box. So if you go to screen options, click on your excerpt box there, and you'll see a little excerpt uh, come out underneath your post content. So this is handy if you want to create your own excerpts and not let WordPress just choose its first X number of characters as your excerpt. You want to create something maybe a little bit more enticing, you want to reword it, something like that. Um, now, my third tip I have for you is something to do with images. Uh, actually, let me delete these two I have here. So by default, if I want to upload an image, I'll pick my Sheryl Sandberg image. And by default, down here, the title is, a, is the same as your, um, your file title. Now, you don't really want it to be the same because this is some good SEO opportunity here. You want it to make sure that it is optimized for SEO purposes and doesn't have these like dashes in the title. So it's really super tedious to go into it and save it and, and take them all out. So what you can do to save some time is use this plugin. I already have it installed and it's called Format Media Titles. Now I already have it installed, so for you, you'll want to add new and search that exact phrase and install it. So now if I go back to my Sheryl Sandberg post, and I'll set that featured image again, and I upload now, you'll see that it automatically took out those dashes, which is so useful and handy. So I'll set that as featured image. Okay, um, now the third tip that I have is for the pages area. So by default in WordPress, it will organize all your pages based on the date that you publish them, which is not super handy. Maybe it makes sense for posts, but for pages, it doesn't really make sense. I kind of want my pages to reflect my menu. Uh, so there's another plugin that can help you do this, and it is called Simple Page Ordering. Again, I already have this installed, but for you, if you go add new and type in those exact phrase, you'll also find this plugin. If I activate it, now I go back to my pages area, and now I can drag all these pages around, and it could make sense. 
this is especially useful if you have a lot more pages, um, even like pages that where you have to translate stuff. And this will be super, super useful. Anyway, so those are my four WordPress tips. I hope you like them and um, I'll see you next week.